nobody's perfect, we're only human. That statement is a relief for some people. That statement is an excuse for other people. That statement is also a little insulting. It's a little insulting because of Jesus. In Jesus, we are reminded that no one is perfect, even though he is. In his perfection though, he gives us a hint of what it is to be really human. He leaves that hint in his example on the earth. Then he gives us the power to live out that hint by giving us his spirit. He gives us his spirit and he gives us gifts with his spirit. He didn't give any one individual all the gifts that express who he is. He gave gifts to us so that in engaging and interacting with each other, we see who he is and are enriched by the experience to become more and more like him. When we gather, he has it in mind that as we together worship him, that we together would learn of him. Learn of him through each other. Learn of him by giving to each other, being patient with each other, bearing with each other, serving each other, celebrating with each other. When we gather, there is something that we all have to share that helps us to make the picture clearer of who he is. When we gather, we come prepared to receive and we come prepared to share. It's also why a meal is such a fitting expression of life together. We share the meal. We take in the meal together. That reflects who we are now, how we are now, and what we are yet to become. All the grand building projects that he painted through his relationship with Israel, a tabernacle and two temples, all were hints at how what he always wanted was to be with us, be among us, and for us to share the sweet relationship we find in him with each other. We can experience hints of that every time we gather. Reminded of how as he is sent, so we are sent. Reminded of how he speaks, so through us he speaks. Reminded of how he shared good news, so we share good news. Reminded of how he cared for his own, so we care for each other. Reminded of how he taught people to live, so we follow him and teach others how to live. This is not left to an individual. This is not the preserve of a select few. It is the privilege of every member of the family. A privilege we get to see hints of and glimpses of when we gather. That's what it is to be human. And although it will not be perfect, Jesus gives us hope that it's still worth pursuing together. Thank you so much for listening. For his name's sake, C.L.J. Dryden. Shalom.